Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back to Introduction to C++ here on SoloLearn.com. This is part 22. We are on using arrays and loops. Let's go ahead and get started. So, arrays and loops. It's occasionally necessary to iterate to go through the elements of an array. Uh, assigning the element values based on certain calculations, right? Say we wanted to print out the even numbers, the odd numbers, or just, uh, you know, build out a manual count up until a certain um, index. Usually this is accomplished using a loop, uh, a way to iterate or go through the values in our data structure. So, type in an operator to declare an array of integers, and the size of the array is 9. So we'll say integer and array, and we want to say 9 is how many integers we want to store. Cool. Um, so arrays and loops. Let's declare an array that is going to store 5 integers and assign a value to each element using the for loop. So here we have our array initialized. Um, and we haven't actually filled it yet. So what we're going to do here is declare what's called a for loop. And the way this works is we say for, almost like we're writing a function. We haven't gotten to that yet. But like we're creating a function, okay, which is a set of instructions to tell the, the, the program or the compiler in this case. And um, what, what we wanted to do, we're assigning a local variable, just a variable inside this loop of x. And we set this equal to 0. And we're saying, okay, we want to start at position 0 or we just want to start at 0, we want to go until x is less than 5, so we want to go from 0 to 5, we want to increment this 0 value by 1 each time. So how this works, guys, is uh, first time we, the first time we come in here, it's 0, it's going to assign my array of 0 right here to the value of 42, and it's going to keep doing that until it breaks out of this condition. Finally, when it comes in here and it says, oh, is 5 less than 5? No? Okay. And then it's going to break out. So if we return our array at the very end, we're going to have all of our uh, you know, five elements in here filled with the value of 42. So each element in the array is assigned the value of 42. The x variable in the for loop is used as the index, the specific position, of, for the array. And the last index in the array is 4, so the for loop condition is x less than 5. Okay, uh, So you're always going to go up to uh, like the length minus 1. Okay. So similarly, you could write this as um, x is uh, less than or equal to 4 and get the same result. Okay. Um, cool, guys. So uh, fill in the blanks to declare an array of integers containing 9 elements. Um, assign to each element the value 45 using the for loop. Okay. So uh, we want to create 9 spaces right there, Alloc allocate 9 spaces uh, of memory. Uh, or nine, uh, just nine positions, and we want to go up until it's less than nine, and we'll say an array of x is equal to 45. So let's go ahead and run that code. Uh, <laughs> it looks like I messed it up. Let me see. So it's it's going to be of nine elements up until, and then it's because it starts it right. It starts it. So I, I messed up, guys. See, sometimes I I uh, get too cocky, I guess. So uh, we're going to assign the x to 45, and that should do it for us. So remember, it's always one less than the length. I'm used to doing, you know, like dot length minus one or something, um, just because a lot of times you have dynamic variables that are going to produce the length for you instead of knowing a specific index, which is more helpful, right, if your data structure changes. Okay, so uh, let's output each index and uh, corresponding value in the array. So we've declared our array. We've looped through it. And now we want to print it out to the console. So what we're going to see here, like I've explained, is you're going to get you know, 42 at each of these indexes. So here's the index, and here's the value it returns. And we can see it's only going up to 4, which is the fifth um, you know, element. Awesome. So fill in the blanks to print out all elements of, of the array or, R, or of the array A, R, 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 containing three elements. So for in, x equals 0, okay, x is less than 3. Um, and then we want to say count, console output, and uh, what do we want to do? We want to do r of x and then end line. Awesome. All right, guys. So that was it for part 22 here on sololearn.com. Um, everyone can code. That was introduction to C++ part 22. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you do, make sure to give it a comment, a thumbs up. Make sure to like and subscribe. Please support the channel. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Take care.